Well, I mean, the first thing to note is things are actually always changing when you actually look uh, at, at uh, human history, then uh, you know, it's only around about 300 years ago that we began to be able to govern countries effectively. So you could have economic growth and better living conditions and people treating each other better. It's only 60, 70 years ago that we began to get global governance functioning so that we could uh, limit conflicts or limit the way in which people were, were treated in conflicts, that we begin to spread technology around the world more effectively, tackle global health problems. So things are improving, but they're improving relatively slowly. How do we accelerate that is the question. How we accelerate it is certainly by helping people to understand, promoting ideas so that people will understand that if we recognize that we're all in this together, that we've just got this one world which 7 billion of us are living on, and that's probably going up to 9 or 10 billion, then if we think of ourselves as living in this one world, it's much more likely that we can create the sort of world that we want to live in and that our children want to live in. Some of that is about doing the right thing and thinking about other people who aren't so advantaged, but some of that is thinking uh, from a self-interested perspective and thinking that if we want to stop climate change, if we want to have a secure environment uh, physically, if we want security in terms of reducing conflict, then we have to help people uh, in poorer nations so that they uh, can be part of this common enterprise.